This is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving practice question. Classify this one as a 600 level question. So on the topic profits, focusing on the concept of percentage discounts. What is a percentage discount that a merchant should offer on our mark price so that she ends up selling at no profit or no loss if she had initially marked her goods up by 50%. Data given to us is in terms of percentage. What we need to compute is percentage we do not find any dollar value at all presented in the question. For such questions, for all information given and what needs to be found, both are in terms of percentage. Let's assume some value. A good value to assume in profit question is $100 and that too for the cost price. So let's make that assumption. Let the cost price for the merchant be $100. The merchant is marking her goods up by 50%. 50% of the cost price. So her mark price is going to be equal to 100 plus 50 percentage of 100, which is going to take the mark price up to $150. Now, what does the merchant do? She offers a discount on what? On this mark price, such that she ends up selling at no profit, no loss. If she's selling at no profit, no loss, then she should be selling it at the cost price. What's her cost price? Her cost price is 100. So she marked it up to 150. She finally wants to sell it at 100. So the dollar value of the discount that she is going to offer is $50. This $50 discount is offered on a mark price of 150. How do you compute percentage discount? It's discount upon mark price into 100. What's the discount that she is offering? $50. What's the mark price? 150 into 100 should give us the answer. Cancel out as a 3. So 100 upon 3 is equal to 33.33 percentage. So the discount percentage offered by the merchant is 33.33 percentage. So that she sells at no profit, no loss. Note one thing. In this assumption that you have made, look at the dollar value of the markup, that's $50. Look at the dollar value of the discount, that's $50. That has to be the same. If you mark it up by $50 and you want to sell it at no profit, no loss, if you have to bring it back to the cost price, the dollar value of the discount should be the same $50. The markup is computed as a percentage of the cost price. There we computed this 50 as a percentage of 100, which is why the markup percentage was 50%. The discount is offered as a percentage of the mark price. So same $50 is the amount of discount. But here when you're computing discount, the base is not 100, the base is 150, which is why the discount percentage is 33.33 percentage. Choice E is the correct answer to the question. For your leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages, build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.